Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Sons of the Forest video. And this one I have something I think you guys are going to find interesting with Timmy and how he could possibly be more involved in the future of the game. I would love to know what you guys think after I show you all of the features he has with this character if you spawn him in the game. This video is going to be an example over what would happen if Timmy became our companion. It's going to show different features that he has. But before I get into all this, real quick, I want to let you guys know about this sponsorship that I'm currently doing with Factor. I don't really do many sponsorships on my channel, but I chose this one specifically because I think, personally, it's a great opportunity to eat healthier. In case you don't know, Factor has a bunch of great healthy meals you can order right to your doorstep. All the meals will be packed in a box and shipped right to you. These chef-created meals are fresh, never frozen, and designed by dietitians to ensure every meal that you get is packed with premium, science-backed nutritional quality. Currently, if you use my coupon code, which is right here on the screen, it's Factor SE31811. If you use this, you'll get 50% off your first box, which you get to choose what comes in the box, and a lot does come in it. Just check the link in the description to order. I highly appreciate anyone who uses my code to order from Factor because it helps me and my family out. And not only is it going to help me and my family out, it's also going to help you out as well to eat healthier. But yeah, there are plenty of great healthy foods and drinks to check out on the site. So if you're trying to consume healthy meals, I definitely suggest to check out Factor and give them a try. But yeah, now it's going to get into the Sons of the Forest video over Timmy. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is spawn in Timmy. I'll spawn him in right over here. I'm also going to be getting into some features that Timmy has that makes me think that eventually he may become a companion in Sons of the Forest. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, let's go ahead and spawn him in real quick. Add character, Timmy. Alright, there he is. Look at him. First off, one of the things that makes me believe that... Wait, where's he going? Come here! I'm trying to shoot the birds, buddy? Slow down! One of the things that... What's he shooting at? Why do you keep running? I'm trying to show the people why you may become a companion. One of the things that make me believe he's going to become a companion is the blue light on his chest. In case you don't know, that is a tracking device. Virginia can get one of those, and Kelvin has one of those as well. It's kind of odd the developers added that on him. Makes me wonder why they did that exactly. Unless it was just for details, so he could be tracked from, you know, his group or whatever that he's with. I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, Kelvin has one of those tracking devices. Looks like Timmy is also using a revolver to shoot. Pretty nice. Alright, I think he calmed down from the seagulls that were in the background. Whoa, buddy. Did you just shoot Kelvin? What's the matter with you? Anyways, now let's see how he does against some enemies in game. Let's go ahead and start him off going against Edward Pupton and Barbara Pupton, the mini boss fight that we can experience in the game. I'm kind of curious on how well he'll do against them. Alright, there's him. And bam! They're in. Let's see how he does. Oh, Nelly, stay away from me. Ooh, shot Barbara. Shot Edward. Oh, yeah. It's a little slow with the shot. But, hey, at least he can shoot. Kelvin, unfortunately, doesn't attack enemies like this. He definitely runs a lot. He seems like more of a uh, companion that will help us fight, which is nice. If he does become a companion. I'm not for sure. Help Kelvin, Timmy. You accidentally shot him earlier. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he got down Barbara with ease. I think he shot her maybe like, I don't know, seven times or so. You know what? I'm going to spawn in like cannibals or something. Do your thing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Did that really just happen? Let's see how he does way out here. Not, 
not many distractions around. Hopefully he doesn't run off in the woods. Okay, add character. Cannibal. Five. Here we go. Do your thing, Timmy. Ooh, headshot. Already took out one of them. Keep doing your thing, buddy. If this is your strategy, hey, it works. Don't shoot at me. What the heck? Come on, cannibals, run. Timmy, you are super fast. My goodness. Yes. Go toward the cannibals. Run that way. All right, do your thing. Two of them right there. Oh, executed. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna add in some mutants. He is just one shot these cannibals with some headshots. He'd definitely be a beneficial companion. Kelvin's the uh, guy who gathers the resources, and this guy's like the protector. I'm sure he would also be able to gather resources too, but it's nice that, you know, Timmy has a weapon to help out. Because we don't encounter him at the moment that many times in Sons of the Forest. We counter him going up against the giant baby slinging monster thing. And we also encounter him at the end. Yeah, it's interesting he has, you know, these kind of features with him. I'm going to be showing you a few more too. Also, I think I'm going to test on whether or not he shoots at enemies at the very end during the helicopter scene. It doesn't seem like the enemies attack him. It's like he's invisible to them or something but it makes sense i mean he isn't technically supposed to be helping us like this but it definitely has got me wondering if the developers have plans to incorporate him more in the game seems like he could be our companion because it's odd he has a tracking device on him like i pointed out in the beginning i guess this is a good enough demonstration over him fighting i mean you get it now i'm gonna go ahead and get into some more interesting things about it. Be sure to stick around to the end because I am going to be also testing on whether or not he attacks mutants and cannibals that uh, come near the helicopter in the end. Because that's like the only part of the game that he can actually attack things. It's kind of odd he's able to get out his revolver and just shoot things in the game like this. But anyways, now let's go ahead and get into some other features that he does. For some reason, the developers added codes for him to be able to do these things. So the first thing is how he can sit. Check this out. Well, what's he doing over here? Wow, he's taking a seat. What? I don't want to get too close and mess it up. Itching himself, looking at his gun. That is crazy. So the developers added a code for him to do this, too. Interesting to think about. What's he about to do? He also is going to have a seat here. Yeah, you see that flask he's holding? He'll also drink out of that, too. He's not doing it right now. wonder if I put a fire down. Will he interact with the fire? Kelvin definitely does. <laughs> he immediately relaxed by the fire. Wow, he just walked away. Sat in the other direction. Wow, the muddy here is having a drink of water. I've never seen them do that. the end of him. Uh-oh. He's walking toward the water over here. No way. And he drinks out of the river here? That's amazing. Is he about to pick berries? Why do you stop there? 
Oh, he's drinking out of his flask, I think. Yep. Wow. So cool how many features he has. I didn't know he actually went up to the water and drank out of it. He literally just did that. He acts startled, too. Which is interesting that he has that code in him to do that. Alright, so I think that's enough features to show off of him. Seems like the developers added quite a bit of codes for him. Not to mention how he can straight up fight enemies, too. It's interesting. Which has me thinking on whether or not... Oh, wait. Yeah, Kelvin's drinking, too. Which makes sense. I mean, he's actually our companion and runs around with us to survive. But yeah, now I'm going to test on whether or not uh, he shoots at enemies when we're about to catch the plane. It has me curious if that's why the developers added the code for him to shoot and whatnot. All right. So I got to make it all the way to the end of the game. All right. So I'm here at the end. Now I'm going to go ahead and spawn in some enemies here. Let's see if he'll like defend. Let's see like if he'll defend himself. And you know, there, there. It's looking like he's not even paying attention to them. Or doesn't even register they're around. No, he's not even paying attention. Both of them aren't. Yeah, not at all. Oh, he just runs right through his character. Yeah, it's like both of them aren't even there. Here, I'm going to see what happens if I grab my backpack. Like... Will they attack then? Or defend themselves? No. They just disappeared. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, there you guys have it. I'm not exactly sure why the developers decided to give Timmy a code to attack enemies unless they have more plans with him in Sons of the Forest. I mean, there's quite a bit of features that the character has. Once again, he can drink water, he can drink out of his flask, he can sit down. I, I don't know. It's interesting. You know, also, I'm gonna see what happens if I kill him. Like, let's see if he has a death animation. Okay, he doesn't have a death animation. Yeah, that is. He may in the future. His gun just disappeared and he stopped moving. Jeez, he is tall compared to our character. Well, I guess that answers that. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video. Hope you all found this enjoyable. If you did, consider leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. Your guys' support on my Sons of the Forest content has been absolutely amazing. Also, I would love to know your guys' thoughts about Timmy being more involved in Sons of the Forest. What do you think? Do you think he will be? But yeah, I'm out of here. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace. Man, he is way taller than Kelvin, too. Dude's like a giant. He just walks off. <laughs>